If you take a look at all of the successful companies in the world today that are in and around innovation, there's always an element of art that creates that sort of what's next. Look around San Leandro and you'll see a city that's bursting with color. It's by design. There's a concerted effort from city leaders to enhance and beautify the community by encouraging and commissioning public art projects. This mural is called The Great Migration of the Monarch Butterflies. There's three butterflies flying that way and one flying back. And this implies this continuous cycle of life. Rigo 23 is a Portuguese-born, internationally known artist. A coalition of community organizations help bring his talents to San Leandro to design a mural for the gymnasium wall of the St. Leander Church. Facing the BART station, the mural welcomes commuters and visitors to San Leandro every day. It's beautiful for me that a city would give an artist an opportunity to help highlight the migration of a small winged animal. Not too far from the butterflies, veteran muralist George Mead was hired by Preferred Freezer to create a mural on the side of their new facility. The project was a huge undertaking. The exterior wall of the building is 60 feet high and 350 feet long. After tackling the logistics, George put the finishing touches on the mural he entitled The Pulse of Nature. The idea behind this mural basically is to reflect the very rich uh, heritage and culture of San Leandro. Not all of San Leandro's public art projects are on this scale. Recently, locals have noticed everyday ordinary utility boxes are becoming works of art. The city of San Leandro partnered with Streets Alive to bring about this enhancement. Katie Birchie, a science illustrator from the East Bay, was one of six artists selected to work on the utility boxes. My box was about the wildlife and plant life and ecology of San Leandro Creek. And these are rainbow trout. People don't know San Leandro Creek is the first place where rainbow trout were discovered in North wow. America. The environment is always on the mind of artist Darren Greenwood. Darren has created large scale aquatic murals on several water treatment plants. One of his murals can be seen on the Bay Trail just south of the San Leandro Marina. It features a gray whale mother and her calf. Given the right location and the right circumstance, you can make something that's nice to look at and that gets a message across. The preservation of art is also something the city has had a hand in. These decorative tiles were the work of Raymond Lowy. Lowy is known as the father of industrial design. The tiles were discovered at the former Lucky's Distribution Center and have been repurposed for display at the Kaiser Medical Center and at the Village. Along with saving historic pieces, San Leandro looks to create new opportunities for today's emerging artists. Located above the Westgate Shopping Center, the gate is 375,000 square feet of a former Chrysler Dodge manufacturing plant turned into creative space for art, tech, and the maker community. I think San Leandro has taken a giant stride forward by embracing the maker community and the, uh, the tech community and the artistic community all at once. I think that San Leandro is breaking new ground on what's possible for a city to do. Anna Edwards is one of the artists in residence at the gate. She's also one of the newly appointed members of the San Leandro Arts Commission. I think people have to be educated in how important it is to have art in the community, art in their city, so that we become the destination where people will come out and see what San Leandro has to present. I think there's something very cool about San Leandro. There seems to be the ability to take a slight risk, and that's not always something you find in cities. It, it takes a little vision, and I think this is a place where the people in charge have some vision. San Leandro is a special place. We're really engaging the community, and arts and culture is just really exploding here. So what you're seeing is just the beginning. I believe this is just the beginning for art and culture in San Leandro. Besides our beautiful murals and artwork, we have great theater spaces for performing arts, landmarks preserving our heritage, historical museums, and popular community events like the Cherry Festival, 
Cinco de Mayo celebration, and Sausage and Sud Street Fair. San Leandro is a city with a rich history and an exciting future. To find out more, visit our website, sanleandronext.com.